Uncensored is next Sunday. It's one week from this Sunday. It is available only on pay-per-view. Also available through the Dish Network on DirecTV. And for you fans of DirecTV, it is called Direct Ticket. That you can be a part of Uncensored. I'm the guy that lays awake at night just thinking of ways to mess the NWO up. It's a nice thought. A little bit different than laying awake thinking about it and going out and doing something about it. What do you think? You can't get hurt laying there thinking about it. Well, you, you gotta do something about it, you can get hurt. But the big guy like John Nord, he can definitely do something about it. John Nord to face Adrian Bird here on Worldwide Wrestling. We have seen some big struggles in our sport before, and certainly the struggle in the war that has existed between WCW and the NWO has been the, uh, at the top of the list. But the struggle within the NWO won in itself, and never more evident than the cage match Hogan and Savage assigned for next Sunday. You know, it's got to be scary when you think about it if you're Hogan. But the Hogan's got such an ego, he thinks he can beat anybody. He thinks he owns the world. And Savage thinks he can defeat the world. So you lock those two in a cage. Who knows what's going to happen, Tony? Somebody's going to get hurt. Both of them will probably get hurt. Running left. And I just wonder if it gets right down to the very end of the match when it looks like one man will go down. Who would come to the aid of Hogan? Who would come to the aid of Savage? Are there even battle lines drawn, or is it everyone against Savage? Well, they're in a cage. So it could go all night. It's not going to be quick. It's not going to be five minutes, ten minutes, a half hour. This fight's going to go a long time because, Tony... These two men have kind of gotten along, but basically hated each other for over the last 15 years. Oh, yeah. They so have it's going to come to a head right now. They have been friends and enemies, but enemies more than friends, as you But say. never really a friend. They got along because of business. I don't really think they've ever liked each other. Do you? Working agreement is what it's been. I would agree with that. Adrian Bird now getting some offense going. Combination blows into the, the big chest of John Nord, who ducks his head, enabling Bird to attempt the sunset flip. Nord grabbed the hand and then stomped the man in the chest. This guy Nord is put together. You know who Bird reminds me of? I'm afraid to ask. Herbie Puckett. Yeah, it's small, stocky. No, the singer. That was Gary Puckett. Kirby Puckett was with the twins. You mean He's got a twin? I've never seen him. Forget it. Pick up by John Nord. Oh! Oh, that. Not much give out there. Here at Universal Studios, out on the floor. Rolls Bird in through the bottom rope. And John Nord, the camel clutch of his. Well, Mr. Bird's not going to be able to fly away now. He quickly gives up. Does Adrian Bird and John Nord secures the win. Got to put the shades on, huh? Got to be Mr. Cool. Still to come, Wayne Bloom and Mike Guinness. They'll be with us in tag team action. We'll also have in our feature bout the nature boy, Ric Flair. He'll go one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you for that. Again, Fred Armstrong. But right now, we take you to this week in WCW Motorsports.